This video will cover connecting your Verse to your Shape software. To get started, you'll want to navigate to your settings and find Manage Statuses under System Configuration. We will need to add two statuses to the system, one for Verse Qualified and one for Verse Unqualified. To do this, click the pencil to the right-hand side of the status list, scroll down to the bottom, and find Add Status. From there, you will type first qualified. You can select a color for this if you'd like and choose save. We'll do this once more. Scroll down to the bottom, add status. This one will be verse unqualified. Select a color if you'd like and choose save. Now we need to add those statuses to our prioritization rules so that they can fall underneath our leads drop down and show up in our prioritize list for our call queue. So you'll find your prioritization rules under system configuration. Once there, you'll open up the lead, click the pencil to the right hand side of call queue and scroll down. Next, you'll choose add rule and name this verse qualified and include the status that we just created for verse qualified and select save. You'll also want to drag and drop that right under your new since these are new leads that have just been qualified by verse. You can also add Verse Unqualified to this list by doing the very same thing. You'll probably want to leave this one at the bottom of the list. Next, you can also create a completely separate prioritization rule for this so it falls under as its own drop down by clicking add prioritization rule scroll down name it select the record type it'll fall under so these are leads and then select the users that will have access to this rule we're going to choose all users and submit. Then once again, just choose add rule, name this, first qualified, find that status that we created and select save. We'll come up here, open this up and we'll drag and drop that new rule right under our call queue. Now if we reload, you can see that under our lead, we now have a prioritization rule that is strictly for our verse qualified lead. The next step is to get the API key that you'll send to your verse representative. To do this, you'll find integrations under system configuration. Once there, scroll down and find the shape API. You'll want to generate an API key or choose view API key if it's already been generated and copy and paste that and send that over to your verse representative. The last step is to set up the outbound webhook that will send this lead back to verse 
with all of the information. So, you'll go to your Manage Webhooks. And since this is a new lead, we're going to do the new lead outbound post. Click Choose and Edit. Verse will provide you with the API call URL that you'll paste in here. And then you'll select what fields you'd like to send out the information to Verse with. Once you do that, click Save and Continue. Next, head over to your triggers and find the trigger set that says external webhook. From here, you'll need to choose or create if this is not already done in your system. Click choose and edit. And as you can see, there's a trigger set up that says if the status is equal to new, then we will webhook this out using that rule that we just set up with that API call that Burst provided to us. And this will happen immediately. Once this is set up, you are good to go. If you have any questions regarding setting up your Burst integration, feel free to reach out to support at setshape.com.